All right, hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with Kyle Brookshire. How you, you doing, guys? man? Pretty good. Yeah, idea. good to see you. Um, so I am personally looking to pick up speed, and obviously I, I think he knows a little bit about speed. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what would you recommend for me, how to pick up speed uh, anyway, shape or form possible? So one of these I don't think people do. One of these, oh. Yeah, yeah, you're good. This is good right here. Yeah, okay. So one of these I don't think people do enough, and don't, it's kind of under everyone's nose, but no one really thinks about it, is swing as hard as you possibly can with no regard for accuracy a couple times a week. And obviously when you're not doing that, work for accuracy, but when you force your body to go as hard as it possibly can with no limits on speed, you're going to learn to start swinging faster. Your body will naturally get better and be more efficient. And the wonderful thing about that is that when you do swing slower to try to keep in play, you're going to swing faster with more efficiency and less effort because your body's learning how to be efficient with that speed. Okay. So that's a very simple tip right there. The other tip I would give you and anyone watching is get really strong in the gym. And I know you told me you already yeah. worked out. So what I would do, I would eat probably, you know, 3,500 calories a day. Okay. Try to get at least 200 grams of protein a day and train like an animal. I right. would have okay. you, with it, be safe about it. Yeah. Use a lifting belt, but train hard. Do really heavy squats, really heavy deadlifts, really heavy overhead presses, and hit all parts of the body in like bodybuilding splits and weightlifting splits. Because when you get stronger, you're gonna get faster. A stronger right. bodies are faster bodies. So if you practice swinging fast a lot, as fast as you can to the golf club, and couple that with a weight training program where you're getting progressively stronger through progressive overload, right. you're gonna reach a point where you're gonna start to see very sneak and speed gains. And this is exactly what I did. No gimmicks, no yeah. 18 club speed leaving high school to 130 or so by the time I was ending my freshman year. Right. It was because I'd started lifting. I'd started learning to swing fast as much as possible. My speed really skyrocketed, and I think you'll notice tremendous speed gains from that. Right, so you're saying on the driving range, you just take how many swings that you're just going at it? So you know? I would say starting off maybe 20 or 30. Okay, and, and you're just, just kind of, yeah, trying really, to kill it. Yeah, don't try to hit straight, just don't try to hit okay. solid, just swing hard, and obviously, you know, listen to your body. You yeah. want to work your body into it. Don't go out and start swinging 300 like that. You know, cup maybe 10, 15, 20, slowly okay, work up, and then as your body gets worked into it, you can do maybe once, twice a week, a session of 30 or 40 swings as hard as possible. And there that's go. going to be great for learning how to get speed from the ground, get speed from everywhere. And, and couple that with a lifting program, you're getting right. stronger, your body's going to move better, move more efficiently. And the key thing about this is not, this is not more speed with no control. What this is going to do is it's going to teach your body to be faster with tremendous control. So right. that's really critical for golf. Perfect. Ask Kyle how he gets so much speed that still keeps his hands forward. He doesn't flip. All right, Kyle, there you go. So how are you able to gain so much speed without flipping at all? So well, are you talking about lag tension impact? So when, you, when you're down here at the bottom, your hands are still obviously ahead of the club head. So how are you able to do that, still have control and have one, what's your club head speed right now? You said 159? 155 range. Okay, 155. So a lot of it is what I call collapsing the triangle. So okay, collapsing the triangle. I have a okay. very high, um, very high hand. So I'm able to right. generate a tremendous amount of velocity with my elbows straightening out and okay. my hands kind of releasing. So as I stay behind, the angle and the angle of my hands is, is straightening, which causes a tremendous amount of angular velocity, momentum like increase as my club comes into the ball. Okay. So a lot of the speed and power I developed is very high in, you know, leverage trunk is now being compressed and put into my forearms, my arms. And so my arms can be head and hook and be moving really fast. And then from there, all I have to do is really just kind of let the wrist turn over. And there's tremendous speed at impact from that. And then on your downswing, do you have any lower body thoughts? Or no? You're just really I feeling think, the claps um, in the triangle. Well, something I think people would love to see, um, on my Instagram I posted this shot about seven or eight days ago. I think a lot about Ryan Winter. He, had, okay, he right. won the 2012 World Championship or 2011, one of those years. Yep. And he had a shot in the final in the final shootout, not in the final shot. He was down to one swing. Yeah. And he has this tremendous push and jump move. Surprised this would be if this ball doesn't find the mesquite grid. <laughs> and he got it. With one final swing. Wow. There it is. Wow. Yeah. And he has this tremendous push and jump move. And push I always and think, I, I know what I do doesn't look like that, but I'm thinking that kind of speed, that kind of quickness that he has. Yeah, because what you feel in reality is two totally feel, feel separate things. Yeah. So, so I'm trying to feel a very okay. um, incredible amount of quickness right. pushing on the ground. Fast switch, right? Exactly. That's okay. kind of my thought when I'm down at the bottom. All right, very cool. Well, here you guys. Here you heard it. Kyle, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, go check him out on Instagram. I mean, I know a lot of you guys already check him out, but uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. Kyle Berkshire. Um, check it out. I, 
I try to put up stuff that doesn't suck, so. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Cool.